Forty Rules of Love, Kara, Konya, December eighteen, twelve forty-four. Be morning. My fate does me no good. I know. Yet I cannot help but wish that I were more knowledgeable in religion, history, and philosophy, and all the things Rumi and Shams must be talking about day and night. There are times I want to rebel against having been created a woman. When you are born a girl, you are taught how to cook and clean, wash dirty clothes, mend old socks, make butter and cheese, and feed babies. Some women are also taught the art of love and making themselves attractive to men, but that's about it. Nobody gives women books to open their eyes. In the first year of our marriage, I used to sneak into Rumi's library. At every opportunity, I would sit there amid the books he loved so much, breathing in their dusty, moldy smells, wondering what mysteries they hid inside. I knew how much Rumi adored his books, most of which had been handed down to him by his late father, Bahaluddin. Of those, he was particularly fond of Marif. Many nights he would stay awake until dawn reading it although i suspected he knew the whole text by heart even if they paid me sacks of gold i would never exchange my father's books rumi used to say each of these books is a priceless legacy from my ancestors i took them from my father and i will pass them on to my sons I learned the hard way just how much his books meant to him. Still, in our first year of marriage, while I was alone at home one day, it occurred to me to dust the library. I took out all the books from the shelves and wiped their covers with a piece of velvet dabbed in rose water. The locals believe that there is a kind of juvenile the jinn by the name of Kabik. who takes a twisted pleasure in destroying books in order to ward him off it is the custom to write a note of warning inside each book stand the still kabigek stay away from this book how was i to know that it wasn't only kabigek who was supposed to stay away from my husband's book but me as well that afternoon I dusted and cleaned every book in the library as I kept working I read from Ghazali's vivification of the religious sciences only when I heard a dry distant voice behind me did I realize how much time I had spent there Kara what do you think you are doing here it was Rumi or someone who resembled him The voice was harsher in tone, sterner in expression. In all our 8 years of marriage, that was the only time he had spoken to me like that. I'm cleaning. I muttered, my voice weak. I wanted to make it a surprise. Romy responded, "I understand, but please do not touch my books again. In fact, I'd rather you do not enter this room at all." After that day I stayed away from the library even when there was no one at home I understood and accepted that the world of books was not and never had been nor ever would be for me but when Shams of the Braes came to our house and he and my husband locked themselves in the library For 40 days I felt an old resentment boiled up inside me a wound that I didn't even know I had begun to bleed